Hi friends, what's this tree view? This tree view is used to display tabular data. So here you can see one record is uh, there. So with a student name, class, mark and gender. Now to this tree view, we can add records also. Say I can add a record. I am giving the name as A, B, C, D, selecting a class as 4. Now how much mark it got, let's say 78 and gender, let's say male, then I am add record now whatever i have added as included here this particular input one will how to input a data from a uh, user entered uh, data or from a data source also how to insert this data to a tree view we'll learn that this is our template or the code where the we have inserted the tree and the in all the input boxes we'll not discuss more about the layout part of it how the widgets are used inside that you can just read our basics one where a tree view is displayed and the input boxes are placed it'll just to explain this this is our uh, tree view we have declared it here then the we have declared the columns here and uh, five columns are there so headings the names we have given id name class mark and gender then one record we have inserted what's this line this line inserts one record and in given a name i equal to one because below that we will add our, our whatever we input it and here the names are there uh, names and the class mark whatever we have inserted so one record has gone there then starts the it, this end of the tree view now here you can say the our bottom part or the labels whatever it is we have added there you can see the add student then one label the name then the input box this t1 is the where the name will be entered we have placed it on the grid then the label class for the class we have used <coughs> one option menu because we are just uh, three three class three four and five this three are we are using you can just extend it more then at the uh, whatever the mark he got so st student the label says reads the mark and then the text input where we will take the mark from the user what's the mark he got now there are two radio buttons we have given so this radio buttons gives the choice as male or female so you can extend it whatever radio buttons you want and finally this is the important because we placed one button here where we are just saying add data so this data where it is uh, this uh, on click of this button we, uh, we call a function that is where the real the stuff happens or the data whatever the user has entered goes to the tree view that part we will discuss in detail now here you can see also that we have uh, declared a label also string by label and where uh, the whatever the text is there we are putting it there now you can see the l5 then the function is here this function will declare a uh, will discuss in detail so we'll understand how the data gets uh, pushed into the tree view as a record now up to this whatever is there though the entire source code you can download let's see how this looks this is just a simple a look of it here it is you can see this is the tree view tree view and here is all the layouts of inputs class mark and the uh, I can select the gender like everything is okay but nothing it will not trigger anything because I have not whatever I can give but the functionality of this button is not there so it is not going we'll discuss that now once the button is clicked this command this line uh, will trigger the function add data so here it is our add data we have uh, not uh, written any code here we'll add that first what you will do is you will read the data what the user has entered i am just saying my name equal to t1 t1 is the text box where the name is to be entered so i am saying get because right from the starting because it's a text box so multi-line data can be but it is not required here you can use a simple entry also so 1.0 right from the first character till the end of it you can uh, we can will copy the data so that now the variable my name holds the data t1 get uh, whatever the user has entered here if you want you can create a validation if the length is less than four or less than five don't accept it that part will not go right now because that will make it more complex let's understand how this function works and a record is inserted so another thing is now what which class it is the class is a selection from a uh, drop down it's a option so we'll read the option now so my class is my variable option <coughs> sorry 
options dot get now here it is you can see at the top if you move you can see here here it is opt1 option menu is there so that option menu the data we are getting read the class we are reading the class from there so op option menu here it is the option so we are getting the data now let us just come back here options get read the class here i am just marking it here read class okay so next is will say my marks how much mark i am getting my mark equal to t3 that is a text box third text box same thing i am doing one sorry again 1.0 till end so now what's my gender what uh, radio button is selected <coughs> out of the two you can extend it whenever you required my gender it's a variable equal to radio underscore v that is the variable we have set it the value we are reading it by using get now what is okay now all the data whatever you want is we have collected now we have to fix the index position of this or i had index value for this we have already declared it here a i value you can see at the top we have kept a i i equal to 1 and here also we'll use i instead of writing 1 we are use sorry we'll use i so this takes the value 1 after that when this function is created inside this function we'll use the global i so we'll read the whatever the value there it is taken so for that we'll say global i so now the value is available now we'll we'll increment it by 1 i equal to i plus 1 so now it became 2 and then we'll start inserting so there are uh, just while inserting we'll ensure that the i value or iid value will increment by 1 now we'll say trv this is our tree view in short this is the key of it main line now this will blank because this says that parent window is a parent or child if you would have been a child of something you would have given the idea of that one because we, 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 we leave it blank because it's a parent window so for that then where we will be adding we'll add, we are adding it at end if you want the, this record to go to the top of it then you have to place it zero we'll experiment with that now next is values where this values of this is equal to one triple here we'll place the thing first the id let let the id be same as this is not iid this is not the index of it's the value id in the student id whatever you want to display then we say my name is the name column then my class i got the class now now again my mark then i have my gender i will just take go it to next line here values onwards so let me go to the next line and my gender okay so these all are now data is inserted but one more thing i have to do i can test let's test it that because once you data gone inside the uh, table we don't want the same data to be visible there so that is why we'll remove it but before that let's test up to this point how it works and one more thing is we have not given any message whether data is really inserted or not so let's just test it we'll see where okay some it's running yeah here it is so already one row is there which, which we have already collected now the second one i am just getting uh second one which class it is it should go to class 5 let's say then mark is 79 let's say then mel add a record see here it has all inserted because of this line but what is happening is we don't want this to be there we will delete this that you will see now okay to delete it will all inputs will not try will the text part here delete i am saying start from 1.0 till end point that name uh, entry text whatever the name part is there it is removed now now similarly t3 dot delete 1.0 till end 
the entire source code is available you can copy uh, you can just uh, copy the code the link is there at the description so no need to try to write with he from here now let's just uh, one more thing is there so this will remove the data but we want to give a message that okay data is inserted and at the same time we also want that the message should not be there for a long so for that we will use a timer also and if you see exclusively for that we have kept one um, label here l5 this is just see text variable my str we have used so this text variable my str will be using and giving a message for a duration or for a short time so what you will do my str this is the text variable so we are using set because text variable set gate we have to use that that way to say add any data or to remove any data so we'll say data added you can change the text whatever you want so now what you will do we just want the let the next data or line of data should user should enter so we'll keep the text one or the name one on focus now data added will be continuously displaying we don't want that we want that this should be removed after some time so for that what we are trying to do now is l5 l5 is that label last label which you, we have used l5 after now after is a timer now 3000 millisecond or 3 second this is 3 second if you want little more or less change this value so we are saying what callback function here lambda now my str instead of writing it directly i am writing here my str that the string uh, text variable so st uh, set sorry it should be set what it will it set to blank that means whatever this data <coughs> added is written here will be removed by after three seconds three three thousand milliseconds or three seconds now let's just test this and this time we'll do one more test also here we are written end instead we'll say that let this data go to the top so i am giving at index uh, zero position so let me just run this and see okay so here my name okay class let's say four then mark is say 55 again let me change it to mail add a record now you can see data added is there and it will vanish after three seconds and here this time the row is added at the uh, data whatever is added at the top next will be added above that like that it will continue so that's all friends these are all the uh, uh, tree view you can use it in fact you can directly insert the records to a database also while entering it here that is already the video is there and we have a page for that also i leave the link there so you can integrate this with your database so and other applications you can pull the data from the database and display it in a tree view actually that's a tree view is easy for this tabular data and all so you can select a row create a node and you can delete update lot of operation you can do and all those tutorials are also available i will request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and please share this video with your friends and if you have any doubt suggestion question use the comment section below to post it thank you for watching